Hi everyone, I'm Jessie. In about a year, I'll become Dr. Jessie when I get my doctorate in public health. I know, most of you just went, huh? What the heck is public health? Is that a real thing? When you get sick or hurt, you go to the doctor. A doctor takes care of one person at a time after they become sick. In public health, we work with the whole population before they get sick. We're focused on preventing disease and promoting wellness for the whole community. We use math and science to show what causes people to get sick and what they need to stay healthy. For example, we can prove that smoking causes lung cancer or that exercising with a buddy makes you more likely to get fit than exercising alone. Public health is also the home of disease detectives called epidemiologists. They track down the causes of disease to stop outbreaks from spreading. Epidemiology is like solving a mystery. Have you ever wondered why people who live next to a factory might be more likely to get cancer? Or what causes an unexpected outbreak of a virus? Epidemiology can find the answer. Once upon a time, there was a nasty disease called smallpox that killed more than a third of the people who caught it and left lots more blind or disabled. Public health eradicated smallpox from the whole world by 1980 through vaccination, and we're getting really, really close to getting rid of polio around the globe. Other public health scientists advise the government on policies to keep people safe, like creating laws for wearing seatbelts, or not smoking in public places. Then there are behavioral scientists who research why people make the health choices that they make. They look at what motivates people and how their environment influences what they do. Have you ever wondered if teaching teens about sex makes them more likely to have sex early? Behavioral scientists can prove that kids that get sex ed actually wait longer to have sex than those who don't. So what do I do? I design trainings for public health workers. I look at what skills workers need, and then I design instruction and activities to help deliver those skills. I get really excited when I talk about ways to make learning more fun, more interactive, and more useful for public health professionals. Whether it's helping university students understand epidemiologic study design, or analyzing objectives used in community health worker trainings, I love what I do. For me, that's the point of all these years in school. I get to do what I love. I hope you love what you do also. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll cheer me on as I get closer to crossing the finish line and getting my doctorate in public health. It's pretty cool stuff.